Crews spent the day making repairs at a local Waffle House. A U-Haul truck slammed into the building this week. Police say right now the driver of that truck is on the run. Channel 2's Baron Peterson is live in Noonan where witnesses described what fell out of the truck when the driver opened his door. Barrett? Well, this is where it looks like the driver burned rubber back and out of the building and some witnesses say blame it on the beer. Workers replace a row of plate glass windows across the front of this Noonan Waffle House Friday. The boss says getting this restaurant back in business isn't just about trying to make a buck. So we obviously want to be here for our customers, but we have uh, families that rely on us. The 30 employees who work here not able to return since the driver of this U-Haul barreled the truck through the front of the restaurant during the wee hours of Wednesday morning. Police say while trying to back out of a parking space, the driver flipped the truck into drive instead of reverse, and witnesses think they know why. They picked up a order. Um, they got back into the U-Haul. And witnesses said that when it got in the U-Haul, um, some, some beer cans fell out. Nobody hurt, but police say one of the workers actually jumped out of his shoes trying to get out of the way. The driver is still on the run. His passenger was arrested. Meantime, the company says until this place reopens, the employees can work in its other local restaurants. We, we try our hardest to make sure that everyone that wants to work can work, and we'll find them a place within a short geographic area so they don't have to travel far. Police have not revealed what, if anything, was in the back of that U-Haul. That may not come out till the suspect's arrested. We're live in Coweta County. Barrett Peterson, Channel 2 Action News.